Hello everyone in this video let us uh, take a look at Jira core server fundamentals and uh, usage So I'm starting a new series new course on my channel and uh, this uh, course is on Jira core server and uh, in this video let us uh, do a very quick but complete uh, introduction of uh, this course so what are we going to discuss in this course so, uh, well first of all uh, we'll take a look at the uh, course objectives it is very important to know what you are going to learn uh, then we'll uh, take a look at uh, the target audience who should be uh, taking this uh, course on jira core server fundamentals and usage we'll also discuss the course uh, prerequisites uh, then we'll of course uh, take a look at uh, the course details. So this is uh, not a very lengthy course, uh, a bit short course as compared to my other series, but uh, uh, we'll go through what all we are going to cover in the next uh, uh, videos in this particular series. We'll start by discussing what is Jira Core. We'll take a look at uh, some uh, Jira Core use cases and uh, we will also discuss uh, about companies or we'll take a look at the companies who are using Jira and uh, finally we'll uh, take a look at uh, or we'll discuss very briefly the important concepts that are really important when it comes to learning Jira core. So let us uh, discuss course objectives and uh, it is very impo important to know the goals, what goals are uh, uh, we ha are, are we are trying to cover in this particular video series uh, you will learn how to work on Jira for day-to-day -day task you will get familiar with the various features of Jira and uh, you will also understand the capabilities of the tool and uh, finally I want to say that if you want to step into the world of uh, Atlassian tools this particular video series uh, should be the course or the series or the set of videos that you should be watching because uh, uh, once you understand the fundamentals when once you understand how to work on Jira core uh, you can then do a lot of uh, wonderful things with uh, Jira and uh, if you are familiar with uh, how Jira works basically Jira comes in uh, three different flavors we have uh, Jira core we also have Jira software and we also have Jira service desk but Jira core is uh, is common to both Jira software and Jira service desk so if you want to learn uh, let us say later on Jira service desk or maybe you want to use Jira software uh, learning Jira core will basically lay a solid foundation so target audience if you are a Jira user or if you are going to use uh, Jira maybe you have joined a company where you have to use Jira then this course will definitely help you let us say you're a software development and you have joined a company that uses Jira to track work so it will really help you to understand how Jira can be used for day-to-day uh, -day activities when it comes to let us say doing software development although this particular uh, course this particular video series is focused on Jira core but Jira core is uh, is the foundation of learning Jira software or Jira service desk. Let us say you are a project manager and you want to manage your projects using Jira and you have no idea how Jira works then uh, this course will definitely help you and uh, finally if you think you want to build your career on, around Jira uh, or maybe you want to become a Jira administrator in future maybe you want to do consultation around Jira and other, uh, other Atlassian tools then uh, this course will give you a very solid foundation and uh, as I mentioned before this course is ideal for students who want to learn Jira and uh, they have plans to do a lot of other things uh, like uh, Jira administration or maybe you want to uh, do development using Jira maybe you want to develop apps for Jira so if you want to basically get an idea how of how Jira works how Jira core works then uh, this course is basically for you 
so course prerequisites uh, it is very important to know what you need to have already in case you want to learn jira core in case you want to go through this particular course well there is no prior knowledge required and you just need an interest in learning jira and you just need to be curious so let us go through the course details so it will give you an idea about uh, what you can expect in the next uh, uh, videos so right now we are looking at uh, the introduction which is of course this video but in the next video we'll take a look at jira core interface uh, we'll do a very quick interface walk through then we'll uh, discuss how to work on a project how to work on an issue we'll go through the searching capabilities of jira core then we'll take a look at the dashboards and reports and uh, although it is not really required but I believe that it is always a good idea to understand how Jira works internally. So we will also briefly discuss uh, later on how Jira schemes and configurations work. So what is Jira Core? So you must be wondering what exactly is Jira Core and I think it is very important to discuss this because not many people can answer this correctly. So Jira Core or either I should say Jira is essentially an issue tracking tool from Atlassian. Uh, it comes with three different flavors jira core jira software and jira service desk and uh, as i mentioned before this course is uh, focused on jira core only which is common in all uh, the flavors of uh, jira but if you want to learn jira if you want to know how jira works jira is basically a web based tool but if it also depends on uh, how you are using jira if you are using let us say jira on cloud you will also be able to use mobile app and uh, if you're using jira server there are some apps that you can also use but you will also find uh, some some clients or some integrations with jira using rest api so we will briefly discuss these things uh, later on but uh, if you want to learn this particular course if, if, if you want to basically learn how jira works and if you're going through this course uh, we will we will be doing all the things using a web based interface so let us go through some of the Jira uh, core use cases. So you can use Jira for any non-technical uh, project. It could be any business uh, based project where you ju just want to do some uh, project management. You can use Jira for uh, marketing, for running your campaign. So let us say if you want to do campaign management, you can definitely use Jira core. Uh, people in operations can also use Jira core for infrastructure maintenance your hr team can also use jira for her onboarding new employees in the company your legal team can use uh, jira core for document review you can basically uh, create a process around uh, how you want to manage your uh, contracts how you want to manage your uh, legal documents that can go through different uh, approval phases your finance team can also use jira for purchase approvals and uh, uh, there are other use cases, but these are the most common ones. So let us also take a look at some famous and popular companies using Jira. So companies like Spotify, Splunk, Dropbox, Visa, Delta, uh, Domino's, VMware, Hitachi, Samsung, and Coca-Cola. Uh, these are, of course, uh, the uh, famous companies using Jira and uh, other flavors of Jira so it will give you an idea about the capabilities of the tool and uh, how popular Jira has become in the in, in the past uh, few years you also have companies like Nestle uh, using Jira so before I end this video I want to discuss the uh, uh, important concepts that uh, you should be knowing when it comes to Jira so Jira has this concept of projects which is nothing but uh, a container of issues uh, and issue is nothing but uh, the actual task or it could be a bug or it is basically the the activity that you are trying to do uh, we'll of course go through how, how issues work and how issues within a project work and when you're working with issues you have different fields where you will uh, capture the information like summary dates or maybe the assignee or reporter of an issue jira issues uh, follow a life cycle and that life cycle is uh, defined using uh, a workflow then 
when it comes to assigning the work to different uh, users you of course need to have users in the system and uh, we have the concept of users and what they can do in Jira and that is of course defined by permissions uh, there is also a search capability that uh, is important because when you want to search for the information or when you want to search for issues uh, you need to know how to do it there are uh, uh, different ways of searching for issues we also have the ability to create reports and also present those reports on our dashboard that we can create for a team or maybe a project we also have the concept of email notifications and uh, as I mentioned uh, before Jira can also be integrated with other tools and uh, if you want to add more capabilities to Jira let us say you want to extend the features you can always use uh, apps that you can either download from the marketplace or you can uh, build your own apps so in the next uh, video we will uh, go through the Jira core interface we'll do a very quick uh, walkthrough of uh, how Jira looks like and uh, how to find uh, the information that you are looking for so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much